Now, you might be like, but Frederick, what is this? I understand. This is going to be a little interesting adventure. We are going to plan f planet form. We are going to terraform a planet. That is what we are going to do. Uh, this game just released today, today, actually. I'm recording this on the 15th of February 2022. 2023? Yes, it's a new year. So we're going to, to go with 2023. Uh, just released into early access today, just a few hours ago, and uh, I've been playing around a little bit with it, just testing out some stuff, making sure the audio is accurate and good, uh, and uh, yeah, kind of just hanging out. It's a really cute game, so we're gonna jump into it, and I'll show you what's up. Quite easy plant named Duckstown. No questions there, I think. Plan B, you have a man mandated to manage the resources of the newly discovered planet. You must bring supplies to cities and manage terraforming projects. Good luck! Thanks, bud. It's not like no one has ever done this before in forever. But uh, that's not our problem. And here we are. We start with a small introduction. They will tell us to, hey, move around the camera a little bit, you maggot. Ding! Zoom out. Select iron. I already know that this is iron. Look at this. I found the square peg in the round hole. Build one extractor, extractor, extractor and place it on iron. Extractors we have right here. So we have available right now extractors. We have factories. We have assembly plants. And we have depots. I will go into a little bit more detail as we continue. But for now, that's probably all you need to know. Uh, so, this is a little bit tricky, but I am going to go something like this. Uh, it will then say, build one depot. We will build a depot in the middle. And then it will tell us probably eventually that we should put iron in this one. Ding! That's very satisfying. Build one factory and place it on the ground next to the depot. Factories we have here. Create intermediate products. Cost machine uh, mechanical parts. Luckily, we already have a few. So, steel bar. Is that what you want us to build? Place it on the ground and select steel bar as depot stock item. Hell yeah. So then we just need another one of these. Steel bar. Build one assembly plant and place it on the ground next to the depot. We have an assembly plant right here. We're gonna chomp that right there. And what do you want us to do with this one? Open the help screen. That is this guy. But we can't do anything with that. So now we just need to select one then, I guess. Uh, I think extractors is probably good to, to have more of. So uh, let's open the help menu. That ding is so satisfying. Build 10 extractors. Extract I can't say extractors today. This is really, really hard. And place them on the ground. Very well. Uh, so, uh, these guys, let's just build more and more and more. Uh, and then we can actually chain them together like this. So what will happen then is that these guys will put up onto this one. And then it will be delivered over to this by the chain. Eventually we will be able to look into things like roads and different transportation networks. But for now it's a little bit clunky to move around the resources. We're our first time on the planet and... Uh, we don't have that much technology just yet. But we'll get there. So, as you can see, they are moving stuff into our factories where we are making steel bars. They're then moved over to our assembly plants where we are producing extractors as well as depots. And this is to make sure that we have the current objective ongoing which says that we should build 10 extractors and place them on the ground. So we need one more, which is being built right here. And it'll be a nice little pop-up. Yep, there we have our last extractors. We place that down, we get another one of those dings. So good. So good. So, objective, build six factories and place them on the ground. Hints, use the factory to transform steel into mechanical parts. 
So if we go right here, uh, we can actually do that. So if you middle mouse click, you can copy something that you have already placed and place a new one. Always helpful. We are running a little bit low on these. Uh, we might actually want to do this instead and place this guy. I guess let's place it there. And then we can pull these over towards this side instead eventually. They will kind of pile up to some extent on the pads. So it's not the end of the day if you don't have have them actually exporting instantly. But of course you want to be able to do that eventually. Speed up time a little bit here so we can get further on in the game. So there we go. Now we will finally get going with our production of these steel guys as well. So we need to produce factories, I think it said. So these guys are probably going to have one more there. And then we're going to have the assembly plants eventually. We need me me mechanical parts for that. So if we tell you to make uh, assembly plants, that guy needs assembly parts. And if we tell... Uh, I guess we can tell this guy that hey... If you make assembly plants for us, that would be fantastic. And then we can have you there to make our... I guess factories first. Ah, I forgot. These actually need to always output to a depot. You can't put anything directly into another building. Uh, so mechanical parts goes there and then this guy goes here and we should have you make factories. That should work. I guess we can set up one there to be for steel bars. Uh, you can go here. Copy of you there. That gives us enough factories as to how many we need. And then the next level, we need to reach a population of 10 in our biggest city. And now you say, what? You have a city? Yes, of course. Of course we have a city. If we take a look up in the top right corner, we can see the... Do you want to call it a mini map or a mini world? Something like that. You can see that we actually have three different cities. So if we scroll out a little bit... You can see right here, we have play, uh, New Ridia. Maybe not the most easily pronounced name, but uh, Riyadh, something like that. Uh, but yes, this is our first little city. There's three people living here. We need to get it up to ten. We can also go to, for example, we have a city right here. New uh, Xi'an. Probably the Chinese holding, handling that. And then we have new Nyingying. Nanying. Again. Just like the city that we have close by right here. Uh, of course, it doesn't make sense for us to go to that city. We just need to grow one city, so we might as well grow this one then. How do we do that? Uh, well, if we click on this one, it actually gives us a few tips usually. So under here you can see hints. It says build a supply center in contact with the city. Bring it the resources it requires so the city can grow. If we take a look at the left hand corner, we have received a few more items. So we need a supply center, supply cities, uh, supplies cities with resources it needs to grow. Costs concrete. We don't have any concrete. Uh, if we take a look at Sulfur, we can actually gain concrete from Sulfur, which should be pretty good. We'll just place down a few of these. Unfortunately, we are not getting any... Not gaining any... Ah, because we actually don't have any of those. Uh, can you produce these for us instead? That would be very helpful. 
There we go. Now we should be able to have both factories and industry building at the same time. Uh, which means that we can again go over to our resources right here. Place down a guy for that. And we want to collect sulfur here. Because uh, if we take a look at concrete, we can see that it actually costs sulfur to make. And if we take a look at one of our factories, uh, we can actually see that we can make concrete now. And it uses sulfur. Let's do that. That should be pretty good. You will continuously use sulfur to produce more. We'll place you down and tell you to be concrete. And then we're going to need an assembler to make that supply center that we needed. And that's actually looking pretty good. Uh, that might have been a mistake. Let's go here instead. We'll do you there. Okay. And this uh, center right here. I'm not sure if we can even put it further away somewhere. I don't think so. I didn't even take the right one. So this guy, if I place it here, what do you actually... Uh, it actually doesn't supply anything if I put, build it that close. So we need to build it right next to... Oh, I think I just deleted that city. I didn't even know that was possible. That's interesting. Can, can I do it again? Go away. <laughs> That, 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 that's funny. There, that, that's a good habitat. Let, let's use that one. Why not, right? There. That's good. And then what? Well, these guys need concrete as well. And we can see that we are not delivering any concrete at the moment. Uh, they say that... Uh, bring it resources it requires to the city. We could do something really, really dumb. Something like uh, build depots. And then we can have depots go all the way across here. All the way over to this guy. And technically that would be possible. Uh, but I think it would be a lot easier if we had something like, I don't know, roads. So let's try to get some roads built instead. I think that might be uh, more helpful. Uh, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like you can have a limit to how much these guys are actually producing. Which I find kind of weird. Because if you continue running, like these guys have now produced over 90 extractors for some reason. And it will just continue producing endlessly, it seems like. Which is kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Uh, I wish you had some way that you could actually limit the amounts that you need. But it doesn't look like that is really, really an option. So yeah, our option or our objective here is to raise our population up to 1 million. And we need to terraform the planet. Uh, we have a little bit left to go. We're at 9 people at the moment. Uh, so should probably do something about that eventually. Uh, I will probably have to do something like this. Curious if we get anything closer eventually. So that we could actually have, uh, not closer, something bigger than these depots that we're having right now. There we go. That will be a lot more production for these guys, for sure. Uh, I guess we can deal with that as well here. So we have plenty coming in and going out. And then we want to have these guys. And we want you guys to be producing roads and these road stops. We then just place down one of the road stops. We can place that right uh, here, I guess. And then we're going to have one at our city as well, which we already have right there. And then we just need some roads. And roads in this game is actually really simple to build. It's literally just a straight road from, or a straight line from one point, point to another. There isn't much to it, actually. 
I like the simplicity, simplicity of the game. It seems really, really simple. Everything is like neat and, and easy to deal with. There is no like bullshit or anything like that. You just kind of do stuff and then it just works. Okay, so uh, to be able to, to ship anything, we are going to need some of these trucks as well. So we need mechanical parts for them, for them which we have up here, right? Uh, so these guys are sort of not really keeping up. But uh, we will fix that. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to do this. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to do uh, this. That should increase the amount of production that we have. And then we can set up you here to produce trucks. Okay, so this should now connect, I think. Yes, it does. And then we set an origin from here. And we set the destination to go all the way over to here. No, set origin. Set origin. Ah, set destination. That's how we're supposed to do it. Gotcha. We put it there and we tell them that, hey, you should bring concrete to here. And then we need a few trucks on here. I can go with like... Uh, if we take a look at here, it says uh, on annual transport capacity, it says 15 as maximum. If you look at this guy, he says that he needs uh, annual supply demand of 10. So 15 should be plenty, but we can actually double that and we will be able to grow this guy a lot quicker which actually should be pretty good and you just grew to become a five population town and the town are actually dynamically growing as well and adding things to them so that's actually quite cool and there we have it. Reach a population of 100 in your biggest city. Bigger cities require new resources. So uh, once we've done that, we will unlock a few more new things as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, so now we have access to landmark towers, which means that we can specify where we have placed stuff before. Uh, we got O2, we got carbon, we got aluminium and we got or aluminium. I don't know how you prefer it. I say aluminium, but uh, each to their own. Atmospheric extractors as well, which extracts dioxygen. I'm not sure why it's called dioxygen. O2 is just oxygen, right? There shouldn't be any dye in it. Uh, and I know it's not a coloring, but come on. Uh, and then it extracts uh, the carbon as well from the atmos atmosphere. Uh, so, we need to produce, right now, oxygen here as well. So, if we just find, like, a spot, I imagine, uh, we can just place down these atmospheric extractors. Uh, and they will need... First and foremost, these guys are going to have to produce a lot more than what they currently are. Let's do this. Uh, and then we can check here then. What are we able to build when it comes to these? So atmospheric extractors need mechanical parts and aluminium bars. Uh, can we make aluminium bars just yet? Doesn't look like it. Do we need something else to make aluminium bars? We make those here maybe? Do we have aluminium on the... Uh, if you look at this, we should be able to see how to make those. Aluminium ore, two of them. So if we look at the ores, uh, we can see that these are all sulfur, uh, fluorite. Do we not have any aluminium? There is aluminium. And that looks like it's actually the closest one that we have available to us. So... Uh, this is where we are going. Uh, we're gonna have you go 
I guess here is actually quite a good place. Aluminium ore, and then we're gonna have these guys go like this. Should you use trucks for this? Is that what's what's intended? Seems a bit excessive to be using trucks, but we can at least try. I mean, why not? Go there, place that down, and then we'll go uh, origin, destination to this. Uh, bring iron, destination to this. Ah, we can only have one of them go. Okay. Uh, can I have you go to there instead? You go to there. No. You go to there, and then this guy. Ah, uh, they can only go to one place. Origin from here. That doesn't work. Okay. Road go there and set up. Uh, you to have a destination to go there with iron. And we can place quite a few trucks on here. This should hopefully make this a little bit better. Okay. So, uh, if we now want to have you guys build something more, something like these guys, uh, we will need... Actually, don't need it here. Uh, we will need a runway here and I guess we should do something like this okay so I decided to move all of my kind of singular production or what you want to call it we can use how many fucking trucks we want here by the way uh, I'm up to 45 now and we're still having backlog here that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can maybe gain some backlog on this as well. And actually increase this production a little bit. Yeah, so they're shipping out a lot of stuff along the routes here. And then when we get up to this place, uh, we are producing the mechanical thingy now. So if we take a look at these guys, we should be able to place those down now. This looks very good. Uh, so if we place you there, what do you actually need? You are simply producing. That's all you're doing. Okay. Uh, so let's place like that. And then have a, one of you in the middle. And a road going to there. And what else do we actually need? So you are going to be O2, you are going to be carbon. And these guys are just continuously producing, that's more or less all they're doing. And then we are just going to connect these together as well. Uh, so that we can have... Actually, we don't even need to do that, we can do that. That's actually better. So, origin and the destination should be up here. And we want O2. And please add more cars on there. I'm gonna add one every time one comes out. That seems to be the best way to do this. Not sure if traffic has an impact on the game or if it's they can literally face through each other. I don't think it has that big of an impact on the game, but, but I could be wrong, to be frank. Wouldn't be the first time. There we go. Okay, so, O2, annual demand, 10. Not sure what that means, but okay. Uh, looks like we don't need that many then, because this guy can do 17. Uh, no, sorry, this one can do 21, and so can this guy do as well. So uh, we should be okay then. 
If we get... Uh, what do we need for that? Concrete only? Okay. So if we get one of these... Uh, we can have... I guess we can have you here. We can build a... No, actually there is where we want you. So you are gonna build the landmarks. We're gonna have a deeper right here for concrete. And no, right there. You there. Copy that over there. And have you go origin and we have concrete here, right? Yes. We need another one of those. So let's do that. Let's have destination go up to here. And bring concrete. Why are we not producing more concrete? We are not able to actually get more concrete out. Ouch. Okay. Uh, so to get more concrete, should we build another one of those? Uh, we can delete these at least because they're not doing anything. Uh, and then I guess we can have... Those can go away. And we can probably actually do this. Let's do something like that. These guys should be roads. Roads. What else was it that we needed? Supply centers? Yes. I wonder what we're gonna use the carbon for. Did we lose a bunch of people here? Yeah, we kind of did. Annual supply demand is way higher than what we have here. So if I place another one of you... Ah, they're not actually smart enough to find a route when you tell them to. So now it still goes this way, even though we actually have a better route to go. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, either way, we just hit our 100 objective, so uh, Depot's Mark II drones have a range of two hexagons. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got a uh, better Depot now. That's good. That's good. So polymer bars, reinforced concrete, high-tech parts, and Depot Mark II. Aluminium bars and polymer bars. Polymer bars requires carbon and plastic waste. Plastic waste? Where do I get plastic waste from? Either way, we're gonna need these guys plus... So this guy should have... Uh, you should have the polymer bars on you. And we're gonna have this guy go here with... Epot Mark II. And that will put in those. And then we're gonna need polymer. How, how do I make polymer bars? Is that in one of these? Polymer bars. Yes, from carbon. Okay. I guess I can just continue. Or maybe I wanna knock this guy out, actually. Can I get carbon out of here? Not really, huh? Once I get to Mark II, I can. But for now, this is how we're gonna have to do it. So, build there, get around this way, go to here. Uh, have you guys go to that place with polymer bars. And that was not right. We should have a factory here. Uh, that is polymer bars. And then we should have one of these guys that builds polymer bars. 
And we should have that guy there. You should bring polymer bars to here. We really have that few of these. And why do we have so many of these? We have 128. The fact that you can't limit these is nuts. Let's just delete him for now then. I don't need him. <laughs> yeah, I really feel like there should be a way to limit the amount of those you have. That will give us the better depot, which gives us further range. So if we now place... Uh, let's see... If we place you here... Or there... Let's go with carbon on this. Carbon. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's good. Uh, so that's you guys. You will probably continue producing. I don't see any reason to to have more than one here. Let's upgrade a few of these. There isn't really any reason to be producing Depot 1 now, right? I think Depot... Since we have Depot 2, I think that's actually the better option. Uh, so what do we actually need to get you guys to grow any faster? Uh, reinforced concrete. So we don't actually need concrete anymore. We actually want reinforced concrete here now. Is that correct? Yeah, it looks like they only want that. How do I make that? Probably in the factory. So uh, reinforced concrete. Concrete and steel bars. We can then have these right here. Uh, steel bars and we can have a few of these like that and we're gonna need to have a set origin and then we're gonna have whoa yeah it's a bit too twitchy I would say with the setup there uh, but that's fine uh, let's build another one of these here and let's have that be the destination right there bring me steel bar and bring me like a bunch of them what else did we unlock the last time around here polymer high-tech parts and uh, depot cost plastic waste that's something that we gonna have to deal with like are you just full of plastic waste now no I don't understand how this works it says that to produce polymer bars we need plastic waste I don't see that you should be uh, the reinforced concrete and this guy should be the origin and it should go over to this place with reinforced concrete. These kind of games are so fun. So change the destination to... Uh, where did it go before? I don't remember. It went there before. So I need to... This is so dumb. I wish I could just change it back to this guy. So that I could... Because I want them to use this guy. But I can't. <laughs> so I need to scrap it and then set a new destination to here with concrete. And then they will actually use this route. Game sorta gives me the same vibes at that... Uh electricity game that we played way back in the earlier times uh, I don't remember what that was called 
Let me see. Uh, power to the people. It gives me sort of the same vibes as that. Which is kind of cool. Okay. So it looks like we are now growing again. And now we just need to wait for everything to kind of simmer down, I guess. Okay, there we go. Objective, increase the temperature by one degree. Build a greenhouse gas factory to release SF6 into the atmosphere. But that is something we're going to do in the next episode. Make sure that you are subscribed, like the video, leave a comment down below. Are you going to play this game? Have you played this game? Is it new to you? What do you think? I would love to hear from you. So I'll see you next time. Bye bye everyone.